Hey guys, Christina Marie here. Um, the reason why I am filming in my room right now is because even though it doesn't look like it, it is 8.30 at night and I just got my hands on, not just, well maybe er, well earlier today I got my hands on the Little Mix's latest album, Salute. And so I've been listening to it and I now have an opinion and I'm ready to speak on it. I know I'm currently doing Vlogmas right now, but I have to film this video so let's just let's just go I have a lot to say okay so a little bit about the album we know that salute is little mix's second studio album um, it was released on November 15th in the UK I'm in the US we don't get uh, the release out here until I think February 4th of 2014 which is a hell of a long way away and so let me sit up there we go Tilt the camera a little bit more. And so when a friend of mine in the UK suggested just sending a copy of the album to me, I said, uh, yeah, let's do it. And so she sent it to me and I got it today. And so I've been listening to it all day or at least for half of the day. And I already have an opinion. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, apparently the girls co-wrote a majority of the album, which again, love it, love it. So, buku bucks and bonus points for that. I really enjoy when people co-write their songs and I will say it time and time again. You guys know this about me already. So, there's that. And then the production on the album, which is superb, but I'm getting ahead of myself, was done they had multiple producers coming in and working on the album anywhere from TMS to Duval so there are tons of hands dipping in the pot of this album and I think it's great the first single on the album was move and the video was fantastic I'll talk about that and then the second single which has recently been announced by the girls is going to be little me which is I think track number three on the album if I remember correctly so yeah, a little bit about the album. So let's talk about my favorite tracks. First of all, let me just go ahead and say there are no bad tracks on this album. None whatsoever. Unlike DNA, when I didn't like that song, I think Love Drunk or something like that. I think that's what it was called. I hated that song. I still don't like that song. But, um, and that's because it was so chaotic, as I've said before. But there is no bad track on this album. Salute is definitely propelling these girls in the proper direction. So my favorite tracks on the album, Move, Little Me, Nothing Feels Like You, Towers, Competition, About the Boy. There are just so many, um, but I really, really love Little Me. Little Me is my absolute favorite song on the album thus far. Last time it was change your life yes this time it's a little me i guess i really like those inspirational you know power up songs i guess but i just love it but like i said i love the whole album there is no bad song these are just the songs that have been getting the most play from me today like i just kept going back to all of these songs and so i just i i love them and little me is my favorite now the version that I have is a deluxe version which has 16 tracks on it which is which includes an acoustic version or an unplugged version of Little Me. And so to have two versions of a song that I really really love, gold, love it. So let's talk about the critics and the reception of the album. The reception of this album was much better and way more positive. Not to say that DNA, you know, was a poor album. It wasn't at all. I loved it. You guys know this. But it had mixed reviews from critics. Which, in this case, Salute has mainly positive reviews. Has um, a higher grading. And critics are noticing the same things that I noticed right off the bat. Is that there is a lot of growth and much more confidence on the part of the girls on this album. You can hear how confident they are. You can hear the growth. You can hear the domination and their their demand to have attention. Like we are a serious girl group. 
first album is done this is our second album boom let's just cut all the cords it is time to get loose and get crazy and show you who we really are that's what i saw with this album and that's what the critics were seeing too not to mention that the sound on the album is totally relevant to current music and to the current music industry it very well represents what we are right now as a people and as a uh, music culture especially in popular music and urban music speaking of urban remember when i said in my first review of dna that i did not understand why they classified this as a hip-hop r&b album or classified dna as a hip-hop r&b album it wasn't this album if they classified it as such i would be more inclined to believe them because there is a, a huge urban spin on this album. Humongous urban spin. There's a lot more R&B sound to this album than DNA. DNA was purely pop. This one is pop with more urban influences. And it's very, very, very obvious. According to critics, they've actually gotten comparison to Destiny's Child. And I'm going to be honest here. If I really think about it, I can see it. I can see that. I can see why people would compare them to Destiny's Child. I don't welcome that comparison at all because Destiny's Child is in a realm of their own. But I can see why someone would make that parallel, definitely. And that's a compliment. That's definitely a compliment. So Lil Mix should be proud of that. Now let's just talk about what I thought of the album as a whole. Take away everyone's opinions. Take away everything I just said. Let's just talk about my reception, or my reception, my impression of the album. I love it. I absolutely love it and I think it like I said it's a step in the right direction for Lil Mix. These girls are growing up. They're coming into their own. They are finding their voices. Speaking of voices I will get to Leanne in a second. I just really appreciate all the effort and the time that I know these girls put in and the, the album is so well done and so intricate and the beats and the sounds and the harmonies the tightness of the harmonies amazing let me talk about move the first single <clears throat> when i first heard it i wasn't sure i wasn't sure about it it just didn't feel like um a radio friendly song to me at first and that's because I was still coming out of the haze of DNA. I was coming out of the haze of their first album. So I wasn't allowing them to grow in my mind. And once I saw the music video, I embraced the whole picture that Lil Mix was painting for me with this song. Perry. Remember, I've criticized her before about ha not having the greatest dance moves and not being able to dance that much. She's improved tenfold. Granted, the camera still doesn't pan to her long enough for me to see how well she's improved, but I can tell she's getting better. So I, I loved the video. And I like the fact that they released an all-dance version as well. If you haven't seen that, you should go check it out. It's on Vivo. Um... I love Move. It's a great, great sound and allows all the girls to demonstrate their vocal capabilities. And let's talk about Leanne. Huge improvement from DNA. I love her. I love her because I feel like she's grown and I feel like she's training a little bit more vocally. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say this. I'm, this is a compliment to her. I sometimes couldn't tell her apart from Jade. Which, in DNA, she stuck out like a sore thumb. And I could pull Leanne right out of there in a second because I knew which one was her. I struggled a little bit trying to decipher her voice from Jade's voice. Which was, you know, like I said, that's a compliment to her. Because that, it means, for me, it means that she's working on having a better sound, I think. Uh, Perry is phenomenal as usual. Like I said, her dance moves are great. Jessie. Remember last time I said that Jessie had the tendency to do all these unnecessary vocal runs it wasn't as apparent this time in on this album um on the song uh, i think four walls these four walls or something like that it was there a little bit more than i would have liked but i got over that really quickly now the introduction to the album so let's say you put the cd in and you push play 
Why am I playing like a like it's a boombox? You put the CD in your car, in your wherever, in your computer, and you and you let it play. And the very first song that comes on is Salute. That was an excellent, excellent, excellent mixing and mastering and album ordering move. Salute is the perfect song to start this album. It was very commanding, very dominant, and this is a very um big statement this is a little mix saying this is our second album we're not new anymore we're coming out the woodwork showing you who we really are boom like it or not take it or leave it that's what i got from salute hearing it right off the bat i said oh Lil mix is trying to you know tell us you know boom 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 this is who we are have at it and i respect that and i love it I think it was a great, great move. So whoever determined the order of that album, good job. I like the different tastes, the different musical tastes I got from this album. I personally think there's something for everybody on the album. It may not be more than one song for everybody on the album, but I think that everyone can find at least one thing or one song on this album that they would like. I just feel like it's a little bit more diverse in that regard. Um, there's no bad what the hell is this song like love drunk for dna i love this album salute for me is better than dna yes i'm ranking it i'm going on out there and i'm comparing dna to salute and i love salute a whole lot more i cannot begin to tell you how many times i have had about the boy on repeat today that oh, something about something about the boy something about something about the boy i just i love that song it's i can you imagine the choreography that would go to that song that would go behind that song and i feel like i think jesse is the one that opens up the song i think if i remember correctly and i can just see her like leering into the camera just walking and choreography and seducing you with that song I just see I can just paint the picture let me choreograph the, the video let me you know design it and set it up and write a screenplay are there screenplays for music videos whatever let me take charge of it I would just oh I love that song I love the story that it could tell but the second single is little me and I cannot wait to see that visualized before me that is just the harmonies on this song on little me fantastic the harmonies on this entire album were just superb the vocals have improved tenfold i am so glad that the girls got to co-write on this album i am happy to say that yes i would agree with tagging this album as pop with an urban r&b spin i definitely hear that influence leanne girl keep it up Jesse, keep it up. Perry, keep it up. Jade, yes. I feel like I never say anything about Jade, but that's not a bad thing at all. I just think that Jesse's voice and Perry's voice are so uniquely them. You can pick them out from a choir of like 100 people. You can totally pick them out. They have those voices. Leanne had that voice for the wrong reason. In DNA you could pick Leanne out from you know a group of a hundred people but not because it was fantastic it was because it was like Rihanna like I said that was Leanne in DNA no no that's not her anymore she cleaned it up she did her thing and I love it and Jade has always been great I never had a problem with Jade but for me Jade is the consistent one of the group she is the extremely consistent one because her voice is so it's not common I'm trying to think of another word is so good and so pure that I just find it harder for her to sing out a turn or to speak out a turn if that makes sense I don't, i'm trying to figure out how to convey what i'm trying to say i just feel like jade has the perfect voice for blending there it is 
she blends that group together so well because Jessie has a, a, a very special and a very unique sounding voice as does Perry and as does Leanne. Put those three together. I don't think they would blend as well without Jade in there. I really don't. So Jade is crucial to that group and I, I love all four of them. I think they were paired so perfectly together. I love this album. I am excited for it to officially release in the US in 2014 in freaking February. What? But yeah, I can't complain. We get everything else before the rest of the world. So I can wait for this album. Well, actually I didn't wait because I haven't. So, yeah, but I am going to buy it when it comes out, when it comes out, out here. It makes me wonder if they're going to change anything like they did with the UK version of DNA and the US version of DNA. I hope not. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I feel like I'm rambling. Bottom line, I give this album a A minus. I'll give it an A minus. I never give things perfect scores. So an A minus is good. Very, very good. I'm excited for this album and I'm I'm so proud of them. I really, really am. I just uh it makes me so happy to just know that they're going in the right direction. This is a beautiful sound for them. And I feel like they are slowly but surely finding who they are as a group. Can't wait for that third album. I said it when with DNA, couldn't wait for the second album. Now that the second album is here, I cannot wait to see what they will do with the third album. I am going to sit here and I'm going to love this second album for as long as I need to before I get the third one. I just, I love seeing growth. And when I see growth and growth in the correct direction and development in the right direction, I just can't wait to see what you do next as a group and as people. So a little mix. I'm so excited. If you ever come tour out here, I think you are touring out here, but I don't think you're coming to me. If you come tour in my area, I would love to see you live. I would love to sit down and enjoy a good show. So that's it. That is my review of Lil Mix's Salute. Thumbs up this video. Comment down below with anything you have to say. I know I've been getting tons of requests for this review. So it's finally here, you guys. What do you guys think? Comment down below letting me know. Thumbs up and subscribe for more. I will see you guys with my next New Music Tuesday. I don't know when, but I am doing Vlogmas. This video is actually going to go up when my Vlogmas Day 3 goes up. So go back and watch Vlogmas. Support Vlogmas with me, you guys. Watch Vlogmas. I'm doing this for you and really for me, but I'm doing it for you as well. So I hope you're enjoying it. Bye.